Talking about death isn't easy, but it is important. Losing a loved one is hard. And with all of the digital information we store these days, it can be increasingly more difficult to gain access to essential data and documents. Apple is solving this problem with its new program in iOS 15.2 called Digital Legacy. And that's what this video is all about. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Think about this. You die unexpectedly and all of your photos, contacts, documents, notes, and more are locked on your Apple device. That's password protected and you're the only one who knew the password. You can add a legacy contact from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. On your iPhone or iPad, you'll want to come into the Settings app, choose your name at the top, select Password and Security, and at the bottom, you'll see Legacy Contact. Now hit Add Legacy Contact, You'll receive some information about the program. And if you just scroll down a little further, you'll see that you can either add a legacy contact or you can choose not now. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and choose add a legacy contact. And it's going to bring me into an area where Apple might give me some suggestions of people who I can make a legacy contact. Uh, if you have Family Share turned on, the people that are in there may be suggested, or you can go ahead and choose someone else, which will bring you into the Contacts app, and you can search for someone. I'm going to go ahead and just choose myself at this point. And here you'll get some information about what they can receive in the legacy program and what they won't receive. And one of the things they won't be able to access is your iCloud keychain information. So your passwords would be uh, safe. Or if you have any licensed media on your account, they will not have access to that either. Tap on continue. And now it should bring us into an area where you can choose how you want to share the access key. You can send them a text message right now and send them the access key if you want, or you can choose to print a copy um, and place it into your estate folder so that upon your death, that person will receive a, a copy of the access key um, that's in your estate folder. So I'm going to tap on print a copy and you'll see that there's a QR code. Um, I would go ahead and tap print and then I would place that inside my estate folder. Once we've completed the printing or sending of the text message, we'll come to this screen where you can either tap on done or you can go in and check on your birth date and update that. I'm going to go ahead and tap on done and you'll see that Ellen Sweeney has been added to my as my legacy contact. If I want to, I can tap on that. And when I do, I'll come into an option area where I can view the access key or I can remove the contact. So um, you will always have the option to come back in and remove a contact, add a new contact. You can add up to five legacy contacts if you choose. An important note, there's also an expiration date on the data, meaning you'll have a certain number of days to download the data once you've requested it. Apple does allow you to directly import data to an iPhone, iPad, or Mac. When you request a copy of the data, Apple securely packages the contents in a zip file which your legacy contact can download. Every step of the process is encrypted and none of the data can be seen by Apple. So you're a legacy contact. What do you need to do to access the person's data? Well, you'll go to the website that you see on the screen and I'll put a link to that website in the video description. You'll need to provide the person's death certificate and the access key created when you were added as a legacy contact. 
You might be wondering about the difference between a legacy contact and a recovery contact. Apple added these two new features for gaining access to your account. A recovery contact is simply a way for you to regain access to your account if you forget your password or get locked out of your device. You are still accessing your own account. Your trusted contact is simply giving you a code that has been given to them by Apple when you need it. The digital legacy feature allows someone to access your accounts, but only in the event of your death. Additionally, legacy contacts and recovery contacts do not have to be the same individual. Digital legacy is a valuable tool in this digital era. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.